Thank you to our principals for inviting our STEM team to present at Chancellor State College's Staff Professional Development Days. In the second last week of 2021, the Robo Knights successfully competed at the first LEGO League Northern Nationals Cargo Connect competition. There were 49 top teams from thousands across Queensland were advanced to compete. After a full Saturday of competing, Robo Knights were awarded the Northern Nationals overall champions and have been advanced to the represent Australia, our region and the college internationally this coming July at the Asian Pacific Open Championships. At this event, we will be one team amongst 40 top global competitors ranging from Russia, Singapore, US to Mexico and beyond. My name is Elliot Mitchell, now in Year 10, and Captain of the Robo Knights. In Year 6 at the primary campus, I became enthusiastically involved in the STEM sport, and I'm proud to say that this is the Robo Knights' third consecutive international invita invitation to compete on the world STEM stage. We have been asked to showcase this season's award-winning project, which represents only one quarter of our competition submission. What is this first LEGO League, or as we call it, FLL? It is a global leader of STEM competitions, designed to inspire any young person to be a science and technology leaders and innovators, by engaging them in exciting mentor-based programs that build science, engineering and technology skills, that inspire innovation, that will foster well-rounded life capabilities including self-confidence, communication and leadership, preparing them for the workplace regardless of path taken. This inclusive academic sport attracts over 679,000 students globally from over 110 countries. With volunteered support from a couple of teachers and parents, between August and the following July, we individually devote over 10 to 30 plus hours per week on top of our school and home commitments, including lunch breaks, school holidays and after school to prepare for our competitions. Annually, a new challenge theme is set, asking us to research real-world problems and to and develop an innovative technical solution, documenting our processes, consulting with industry experts, professors, government officials, etc. During the year, we design and create iterations of prototypes and share them to the judging panel. We also design, build and code a robot for the LEGO robot game, aiming to maximize points within a two and a half minute timer. In previous years, we had to solve problems associated with long distance space travel, designing more sustainable cities, getting the community more active, and this season with Cargo Connect, we are required to solve one of many supply chain problems. In this competition, we are judged on how kids do the work. Adult mentors can only have 5% input, including concepts, designs, coding, engineering, research and development. The judging rubrics covers four areas, robot game, innovation project, core values, and teamwork, plus engineering robot design. The presentation you're about to watch was deemed above exceeding across all areas of the judging rubrics. It is of the most highest standard in Australia, and we're excited at the opportunity to share our work with you. Hi, I'm Dean in Year 7 and this is my third FLL season. My favourite thing about it is that we got to learn new code and we got to build with FTC components. I'm Thomas, also now in Year 8. I'm so excited to be doing FLL for the first time. In the future, I would love to compete in BattleBots. Hi, I'm Zach, now in Year 10. This is my first year doing FLL and loved building and coding our project solution with the help of our FTC team, Robo Kings. Our teammate Jackson is unable to be here today. He is now in year eight and he loves FLO and this is his first season. He loves sport and he loves building with Legos. Hi, I'm Lawrence, also in year eight and I'm pumped to be in my third season of FLO. During this season, I enjoyed learning how to code in Scratch. In the future, I'd love to design F1 cars. And I'm Elliot and in year 10 and this is my fourth and sadly final season of FLO but I'm excited to see what FIRST has to offer for me next year. I've also loved developing our project solution, REST, now including autonomous grocery delivery.
We're a fun, energetic, and creative team with 50 50 rookies to F1 veterans. But together, we are the Robo -Nice. nice! And we love donuts. Since 2007, online grocery sales have increased by a staggering 46%, with over 2,900 businesses now offering online grocery delivery. This industry is currently worth over 7 billion Australian dollars, and recent studies indicate that the adoption of online grocery de delivery post-COVID-19 pandemic is expected to grow at an annualised 27%. With this in mind, to identify what problems ex exist in the online grocery sales industry, our team looked at the whole process from producer to consumer, like a paddock to plate concept. To learn more about to, to learn more about connecting online orders to consume to consumers, we researched credible internet sites and even got up early to attend an online US Amazon fulfillment center fulfillment center tour. We formed a list of goods, transportation methods, and potential problems that are specifically local to us from live animal transport and bulk milk transportation, to general cargo damage and risk of fraud. Then we created a crazy list of innovative solutions, like Thomas's idea for sub-audible transport for medical supplies. Jackson looked at creating a tracking loss cargo. Elliot considered automating the unloading of trucks. Lawrence looked at looked at using gimbal to stabilize goods, and Zach and I looked at how we could technically improve the hub and spoke systems. Then locally, Woolworths launched Queensland's first e-store, man which manages the fulfillment of all the Sunshine Coast online delivery orders. Interested in thinking about crazy solutions may improve their systems, we arranged a visit. The Woolworths technical management team demonstrated how the new e-store solves speed, efficiency, and accuracy in the picking process, leading to thousands of extra online grocery orders on the Sunshine Coast. To test for inefficiencies within this new grocery fulfillment process, we ordered online and had it delivered. From this experience, we generated our first concept with an autonomous hub and spoke grocery delivery system to improve delivery times and amounts. However, during this visit, we identified a few greater problems of interest. The biggest problem was the gap in inefficiency in loading the orders into the delivery trucks from the new automated micro fulfillment center. We were shocked. The loading of grocery totes onto the truck is still 100% manual. Woolworths remarked, if you could come up with a solution to this, it would be great. The problem is, manual truck loading takes 30 minutes. That's 375 grocery totes that could be on the road in the time taken to stack a single truck, which in turn, wait, uh, including our favorite donuts. We are excited to present our solution to this. Rest. Rest. Robots efficiently stacking trucks, improving online grocery logistics, now including our new autonomous hub and spoke grocery delivery system. <laughs>
We have engineered a system of autonomous loaders that use collecting and unloading systems to transport crates to the truck. US lecturer in mechatronics mentored us in our design process that helped us identify the, log the logistic advantage in having two in having two separate autonomous autonomous loaders in a loading bay. I created in Blender designs of how we envisage our prototype solution. As you can see, autonomous loader A will collect the totes from the stack, meeting halfway with autonomous loader B, transferring the totes. Trans autonomous loader B will then make its way into the truck and offload an entire stack of totes. By talking to John Pappas, he suggested that the startup cost for our project will be around two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Doctor is asked to this, we should live video test our project solution in a range of different environments. From this, he gave us feedback on different products and, and technologies to use for different purposes. Our hub and spoke system uses autonomous devices to deliver groceries to door, using a system to safeguard fraudulent delivery and a gimbal to keep the content stable. We have researched such things as 5G technologies, LiDAR scanning, V2X communication and LORDs. Adding them to our prototype's concept design, offering digital tracking, maneuverability, adaptability, and safety. As we have now advanced to internationals, we have continued to develop our autonomous hub and spoke grocery delivery. We're 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 sorry we can't be there to share these safely deal of a donuts to you, but I encourage you to send us any feedback or questions to help improve our outreach. Thank you.